Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about Ritz crackers, chocolate, and peanut butter. How's that? I'm going to do a little short, sweet, and easy snack. This would be really good for kids, grandkids, or me. We're going to do, for lack of a better word, we're going to do um, chocolate covered Ritz peanut butter cookies. See what you think. Right off the bat, we're going to take some chocolate discs. These are these are the uh, same chocolate that you use to dip fruits and things like that in. Just gonna make microwave this for a minute. And all you're gonna do is take Ritz crackers, spread peanut butter between them, make a sandwich out of it. I've already got some made up here, and I'll have to tell you the truth. You would never hear this on TV, but this is the second time I'm doing this video because the first time I put the chocolate in and I went too far. I actually melted it too long and it got hard on me before I was able to do anything with it. So, this is a review. That's why I've already got some of these already made up. Got, like I said, all you're doing is making peanut butter sandwiches out of the rich crackers. <clears throat> Hopefully this is going to melt up right this time. I put it in for two minutes last time and that obviously was way too long. So we're going with a minute this time and see what happens. Okay, let's see if we got enough to get this. Oh yeah, looking good here. Hopefully this isn't going to get too hard on me before I... Like I say, some people don't like milk chocolate, some people don't like white chocolate, so I'm doing a combination of both here. I happen to like both of them. Oh, this is going to work perfect. All I'm going to do is dip one side, turn it over, dip another side, I'm going to put it on, normally you put it on wax paper, I don't have wax paper, so I'm using that press and seal freezer stuff, Works seems to work pretty good. Okay. This is going to get sloppy. I can see that already. The thing about it is, you have to do it. You have to do it quick before this chocolate sets up, because it hardens really quick, actually. And I don't know the, how this is going to work, actually. Like I say, I got this from my mom. She, what she does is melt the chocolate in a, in a bowl and cover the whole thing rather than just to do the top or the bottom. Which, you know, may, <laughs> the way this is coming out actually may have been a better idea. But you can see what we're doing here. All we're doing is dipping in the chocolate. And if you've ever used this type of chocolate before, you know what I'm talking about. And we'll try one with Chocolate on one side and milk chocolate on one side and white chocolate on the other. How's that? The white chocolate seems creamier. I don't know if that's just... A couple of these I made up a little while ago. The, the chocolate was actually set up by the time I was finished with the last ones. The first ones were already set up. I don't know if that's going to be the case this time or not. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of sloppy and messy and I just broke one. So forget that one. Let's see how this is going to work here. And one more, we're going to try a, try a little combination of swirl here. How's that? Let's see what kind of a mess I can make out of this. That actually looks kind of cool. Now, how these are going to set up, I don't know. 
We're going to find out. Started out really gorgeous this morning, then it kind of turned overcast, a little bit chilly. Of course, chilly is a relative term. For us, 65 is chilly, and it's been about 65 today. I know, I know, the people from the back east, I, I understand. They were spoiled. I'll admit it, for sure. Tell you what, I'm going to throw this in the freezer for a couple of seconds. I said I made up a couple of them this morning, and it, they were set up by the time... I had been, I don't know, four or five of them. The first couple were already set up. I'm not sure if I melted this a little bit too much or not quite enough, or I am not sure. Next week, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is a Korean seafood scampi. You're going to want to stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned. You're going to tune in, I should say. And anybody want to see, you know, anything else, let me know. I always need ideas. Put these on a plate here. Let's see what I'm doing. Almost set up, not quite. get the idea. Let me know what you think, folks. Chocolate-covered Ritz peanut butter cookies. <clears throat> I can tell my friends and neighbors, they say they bon temps brûlé, let the good times roll. Well, like I say, until next week, we're going to do a Korean seafood scampi. I think you're going to really like that. And I'm getting ready to eat my peanut butter crackers. And that's what I'm talking about.